Welcome back to how to build an F-14 and in this case an F-16 as well. Well, got a little bit more work done. I know it's been a couple of days since my last uh, last video and I was hoping I'd get a lot more videos in this week and a lot of work but work's got me completely swamped with trying to get a couple airplanes ready for a, a project this coming week that we have to go on. But as you can see the F-16 sitting on its landing gear. I got the wings on, the tails on it. It's, uh, it's getting pretty close to start time to do some fiberglass work. As far as F-14 goes, you can see the, the big red nose is now gone. It's just a little bit of red now. I got all the uh, the windscreens all been sanded down. The uh, canopy plug's been sanded. I'm going to put a couple more coats of paint on that tomorrow, do some more sanding and all. Hopefully I have that ready for uh, for the mold to start making all the, the clear part plugs for when I get back from Sarasota and Tampa this coming week. But pretty much that's all I've done on the F-14. Haven't, like I said, been busy with work. I didn't get home to about 4 o'clock this morning, midnight the night before, and there about 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning. So a little tired, but hopefully I can get some stuff done tomorrow. Like I said, with F-16, the landing gear is in it. Both wing panels are on. I still got the right wing panel still drying. I got some epoxy going while the alignment and all is good. But uh, that should be dry here after a while. I'm about to call it a night. But uh, as far as F-16 goes, all the major buildings done except for gluing the two main bulkheads in and uh, doing some gear door work, cylinders. Then that's all the, the time consuming stuff. But uh, a couple of guys are asking, just kind of see general layout of the shop. See over here we got a, a rack, a bunch of boxes, of course the vacuum cleaner. Got the wings for the F-14 up there, the leading edge slat plugs. I got uh, another little couple of shelves over here. I've got all of my pneumatic system parts, some small things of paint, small poly ply screws, fuel pumps, pretty much anything I need for putting a jet together is pretty much up there as far as airline stuff. I got tons of fiberglass and all back there, plywood, more F-14 parts, some uh, dragon plate, which is just birch ply with carbon fiber veneering around it. I'll see if I can't get a if the camera will zoom in on that. Well, probably not. It's not going to focus. Anyway, it's just, like I was saying, just uh, carbon fiber veneered over some uh, birch ply. This stuff is extremely strong. This is, I believe, a sixteenth of an inch and it has the same strength as a uh, three sixteenths birch ply. But, uh, a 2x4 sheet of this is about 200 bucks, so it's extremely expensive. But there will be a lot of this using the F-14 when I get to that point. And then mostly down here is just uh, tools, F-14 stuff, paint, extension cords, box of tools, all kinds of other stuff. I got two of these folding plastic tables that I can put up and down as I need it. The F-14 table with, of course, the 400 pound roll of fiberglass and another roll of six ounce glass this big roll is 18 ounce for those who haven't seen the earlier videos it's eight foot long and 100 yards of it i got this stuff off ebay for less than two dollars a yard so for those who don't think ebay is worth it keep your eyes open i went for over a year for this stuff and it normally goes for over ten dollars a yard and i get this got this for less than two Keep your eyes out, be patient, you will find it. The guy, when I bought this, had 10 rolls. He tried to sell me all 10 for under a grand, but I just didn't have the money. That should be plenty for all the stuff I need for that 14. Uh, coming down here through the back wall, again, just the wall of stuff. <laughs> the easy way to put it. Starting down here at the bottom, spare radio, got to have your tunes. Some uh, cobalt toolboxes, I got uh, all my nitro stuff as far as starters, fuel pumps, um, covering irons, heat guns, taps, dies. I got some uh, molds for a set of rubber tires for a yellow aircraft F-18. I do still make those if you've got the airplane you want to get rid of the foam tires. I sell a set of mains for a hundred bucks and that includes shipping, PayPal fees, everything. They will not wear out like those rubber ones do. I think they're worth the money. Now, working the way up, of course, the drill press. And that is a Harbor Freight Special. 115 bucks, I think, is what I paid for it, if, if that. And uh, I've had it for about five years now, and that thing works perfect for what I need it for. 
Now up through here, bug killer, silicon lubricants. Thing of Cabo Seal from US Composite, so I think it's like 20 bucks. Works great for thickening up epoxy. Micrometers, paint, denatured alcohol, all kinds of stuff. Up here I got silicon casting, uh, two part silicon casting rubber. I use this stuff to make molds of tires, uh, cockpit parts, resin stuff, box of paint, working across, helicopter kit, two uh, Hasegawa F 14 kits. I use this in that Deco book a lot in, uh, in doing all the panel lines and stuff on the F-14 and access panels and all that stuff. Uh, airbrush, some U.S. composites, thin laminating stuff. This is the resin I used the, the fiberglass F-14 with. It's For the price, you can't beat it. I think it was like 60 bucks for a gallon of this stuff, a gallon of resin, and then... Uh, like a quart or a little over a quart of hardener. It works. It's only got about a 25 to 30 minute working time. So if you've got a lot of a lot of area to to either glass or laminate, it's not quite the best stuff. I prefer something a little more like a 45 minutes to an hour. And of course we got Dremel tool stuff. More Dremel tool. Jet hardware. Hardware in general. More Dremel stuff. Uh, the dumbing block punch set from you guessed it, Harbor Freight. Safety wire. Uh, working across, just tools and tools and tools and more tools. Down here across the bottom, the uh, famous DeWalt drill. Some more drill bits. A little glue rack. Walmart, I think this thing was like four bucks. You can see it works out perfect for holding all your glue and whatever else you need. Working back across, another radio, lamp, scroll saw, jigsaw, whatever you want to call it. Another Harbor, tool, Harbor Freight Special. I think I paid 30 bucks for this thing. It's a 1 inch by 30 inch belt sander. And uh, some extra sanding belts. Yeah, you can see that. That's that's right, 40 grit. I use 40 grit for uh, sanding all the bulkheads on the F-14. And it made quick work of it. And the Sears Craftsman Bandsaw. I like the bandsaw. I don't like the, the blade links. That's 70 and a half inches. It's a, it's a pain to find anything, and then they only sell it in packs of threes. And most of the time, they don't have any type of uh, metal cutting blade you need. So you got to special order everything. So it's a little bit of a pain, but it's a nice bandsaw. I think it's like $160. But that's about it. I'm still waiting on the air conditioner. And still got to find time to put paneling up on the roof and do that back wall and insulate it. But that's pretty much where we're at. And... Like I said, i got to leave Monday to go out of town, down to Sarasota and Tampa area for about a week. I'll be back that weekend. Then the following week, I'm off to Houston. Unfortunately, it's not vacation. It's all work-related. But once the vacation time comes up around July, I've got about three weeks of paid vacation time. So that'll hopefully be when I start molding the F-14 fuselage and wings. But until next time, we'll see you in the shop. Y'all have a good weekend.